I'm meteorologist Miss Katie Whitaker with your official Red Hook High School and Mid Hudson Valley forecast for the week of February 8th, 2021. It is a beautiful Monday here in the Hudson Valley. Observations this afternoon from Red Hook High School shows temperatures in the mid 20s, wind chills slightly cooler in the low to mid 20s. Winds are out of the northwest, not too strong though, luckily, at about three miles an hour. And notice that sunrise and sunset time. Sunrise was at 7.01 this morning and sunset is at 5.20 p.m this evening. Now let's get right to the weather map because we're entering a very active pattern as far as the weather goes. So for your Tuesday morning, I expect some snow showers to be moving in Monday after midnight going into your Tuesday. Snow showers throughout the morning. We're looking to pick up three to six inches of snowfall. I think most of it should be done by around mid-afternoon. We could still see some snow showers around into the later evening hours, but I th certainly think that it will be done by midnight for your Tuesday going into your Wednesday. Now that's not it. It looks like pretty much snow across the board for the rest of the week after your Tuesday. Nothing too significant yet, um, but I am keeping my eye on a storm for Sunday. We'll get more to that in the five-day forecast. But first, let me bring up the question of the week. What can the snowflakes tell you about the temperature of the atmosphere? Well, the way that snowflakes form and develop is really dependent on two factors, the temperature and the humidity. So this diagram will show you the differences between the snowflakes and what forms when. But one of the biggest indicators of what the temperature is like in the atmosphere is by taking a look at the snowflakes. And I, I noticed this actually with one of the storms last week. So when it's much cooler, you'll notice that like we're talking like in the teens or like low 20s, your snowflakes will tend to be smaller and drier. So your accumulations tend to be more because of the airspace as the snow accumulates makes the accumulation much greater. Now as the temperatures warm up, you'll notice the size of the snowflakes get bigger and they get more moisture content to them. So you get more of that slushy accumulation, a little bit like what we saw for your Sunday, and that's going to compact much more. So snowfall amounts are much less in that case. So when it's snowstorming over the next couple of days, take a look at the snowflakes, see if you see them changing. The storm last week started with snow flakes that were much smaller and as the atmosphere warmed up they got much much larger and by the end it was more like a freezing rain or sleet so sort of interesting to see what the snowflakes can tell us about the air all right let's get to that five-day forecast so again for your Tuesday I expect mostly cloudy skies with snow developing again after midnight uh, again looking at about three to six inches as you go farther south actually uh, for like for the beacon area looking more like maybe like two to four inches maybe isolated up to five inches an hour. Temperatures are going to be on the warmer side by afternoon and by warmer side I mean close to freezing but it'll start off into the mid and upper teens so you might see that thing I was talking about with the snowflakes for tomorrow. Now Wednesday is a good day to soak up a little bit of sunshine. We'll see some a.m. sun, p.m. clouds, highs in the little mid-30s and the reason why I'm saying soaking up the sunshine if you take a look at that five-day forecast for the rest of the week, Thursday chance of snow, Friday chance of snow, Saturday chance of snow, better chance it looks like for your Sunday for an at more potent storm system come in. Early forecasting data, which is a stretch going to Sunday, is showing a moderate to heavy snowstorm coming in for Sunday. So we'll just have to wait to see what happens, but definitely an active week for your weather. Thank you so much for tuning into this week's Weather with Whitaker, and I'll look forward to seeing you next week.